Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. Today, we are going to play yet another round of the Fix Me Roulette because it is too much fun and we can't stop now. Uh, so the way this works, if you're not familiar, is that we grep the Serenity code base for Fix Me or To Do, uh, uppercase or lowercase, and then we pipe that to Shuff so that we get just one entry. And uh, today we are picking from 5,505 possible entries. It feels like it never goes down this number, but uh, if we keep at it, I think we'll eventually make a dent. Anyway, uh, today we will be working on the E1000 network adapter. Um, okay, so this looks like... Um, uh, error propagation stuff. So let's let's go take a look at it. Um, okay. So we are in E1000 network adapter. Try to initialize. So this is the um, the code that auto detects or that tries to detect if you have a um, like this specific network card at a given address on the PCI bus. I think that's what this is. Um, so, or, or rather like it found a PCI card and then we're asking this driver, hey, can you instantiate a driver for this card? Is that what we're doing? Yes, that is what we're doing. Cause here we can see it actually constructing the uh, network adapter, which is the um, the object that is then becomes responsible for talking to this network card. So kernel device drivers, cool. Um, so the fix me that we had was 173. So this fella right here, all the way out over on the right here, we see that we get a uh, dot release value, but fix me should propagate errors. So this is an ugly named thing that we have so that uh, if you don't have a way to propagate errors to your caller, uh, but you just want to, <laughs> you just want to get done with what you're currently working on, then you can sort of use this. Uh, and then it leaves this stain that somebody has to come and clean up later. Um, and now it is later and I have to clean up this stain. So basically, I think the type of error we can get here is probably allocation failure. <laughs> um, no, there are other errors we can get as well, like EIO, E inval, E overflow. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of errors that could occur. Well, cool. So the way this function currently works is that it just returns a reference counting pointer, basically. So it's null if we couldn't uh, instantiate a device driver. So this is called where exactly? A click here, okay. Networking management determine network device. All right. And then it calls the same kind of API on a whole bunch of different cards, actually. Hmm. So in the future, we should probably implement this in a different way where like network cards can sort of register a list of PCI device IDs or whatever that they they can um, provide a driver for. But I guess for now, this is not terrible. So this is going to have to change, though, because where do we want the error to go? We want the error to go all the way from here to the caller. Um, wait, where's the caller? I already lost it. Want to go here to determine network device, which is called by uh, networking management initialize. So this is like boot stuff, basically. Um, but in theory, once we support hot plugging of uh, network adapters, then 
it should obviously be the case that if you plug in uh, a network card and we can't um, we can't initialize the driver for whatever reason, we shouldn't panic the kernel. <laughs> we should uh, propagate the error out somewhere so that it can be presented to the user. I mean, typically just on the um, kernel log or syslog or whatever, but um, anything other than panicking the kernel. So I think the fix here is going to be <laughs> these APIs have to uh, start returning error or instead of just a little lock ref putter. Um, and then it can be a non null lock ref putter because we don't have to use null to signal that something went wrong. So I wonder how many of these we have. Mm, okay quite a few and they're not just all network card things we'll start with just the network adapter ones so can we get a class diagram or hierarchy here yes we can that is fantastic so then we can go in all of these and be like a loop back adapter i guess for that one, we don't have error or maybe we should. Although that wasn't part of the rotation in um, determined network devices. Nah. <laughs> okay. Actually, there are not that many network cards to worry about here. <sighs> All right. So let's see what we can do with these. Um, so if like ignoring the implementation of these things right now, if we just go to determine network device, and then these would instead be something like, um, you would try or well, I guess, wait, is try the right thing here? Because if we try, it will just short circuit this thing but the thing is if we fail we should continue so maybe null was actually kind of meaningful in a way because null just means that it's not that thing but it's also not any other error hmm no i don't know So here, for example, we can see how it's detecting it. Like, is this an Intel device? If not, can't be any 1000. And then we look for is valid device ID, checking against a, just a list of known E1000 device IDs. Hmm. Yeah. So, What is the right approach here? I think maybe using null to signal that this is not one of those cards, but nothing went wrong. It's just not one of those cards. That does seem like a slightly better API, honestly. Better propagate errors here. Okay, so now we're gonna start actually doing some fix me's. So this fix me comes along for the ride because we can just try here. Interface name, cluk cluk, cool. This fella, um, again, we can just try. Adapter, um, adopt, wait, adopt lock ref if non null. Adopt non null lock ref or enomem. <laughs> I forget how these things work. It's quite a mouthful. Interface name. I guess we have to move that. Okay. So that one is another try. And then if we can initialize the adapter, I see. So initialization has to succeed as well. 
it's a little bit weird that initialization just returns um, a bool, but I guess maybe that's OK for now. So if we can't initialize it, we'll say, OK, well, it wasn't something I could make a driver for. Yeah. So yeah, the non-null, I think that was maybe over eager. So uh, let's see. We'll, we'll go with lock ref putter for that one. And I'll have to backtrack here a little bit, just update the various classes. We'll just take a second. Okay, there we go. So this code now um, can be written slightly differently. So we can do something like adapter. So if the adapter is try, I mean, wait, why do I want to use try here? Because I was thinking, I want to use try here so I can just sequence these calls one after the other, right? But if I get an error trying to instantiate this card, does that mean I shouldn't try to instantiate this card? It doesn't mean that. So <laughs> I think I have to backtrack once again. Uh, maybe I should just write this function out until I know what it should look like, because um, I just keep going back and forth. So I I want to test these. Let's see. So um, backtracking to where we were. Okay, this is where we started. So here we can't just check if is null. We have to check if it's not error. And then if it's not an error, what we want to do is just return release value. Yeah, that's good. Um, because any errors that surface inside of here, this is a bit tricky. I'm just thinking now. I shouldn't, if I have two um, drivers fighting over one card, that doesn't really make sense. So like, we shouldn't have a situation where, like, if this driver fails to initialize a card, then the driver that comes after will succeed because they shouldn't try to claim the same card. So um, for that reason, any error that comes up should be um, an error that's like happened past the point where you decided, okay, this is the driver for this card. There's no other driver that could handle this card, but this is the driver for the card. Uh, and then if you get an error at that point, that error probably should bubble out to the caller. Hmm. Because if so, that means that this becomes an error or um, Non null lock ref putter. Okay, let's see if this pans out if we type it out. <laughs> Just got a little bit of back and forth in my brain here, but I, I think I think we're gonna make sense of this. So if we do this, then we try these. And they um, become non null. So we come here and we release non-null on them. Yeah, that's kind of good. If we don't have anything to return at the end, then that is an error. So from string literal um, unsupported network device or something like that, adapter. OK, so I'm 
this feels reasonable. Will it work out in practice? Let's see. Um, right, this fix me goes away. Hmm. Yeah, so here are the two cases where um, we look at the device ID and decide if this is the thing for us. If it's not, then we leave. If it is something that this card should be able to handle, then we go here. So I guess here we shouldn't return null putter if we're unable to initialize the thing. Instead, we should return something like, um, if we can't initialize it, we will return an error. Unable to initialize. Uh, E1000 network adapter. Yeah, something like that. And then because then we always get an error. So null just means that it's not it's not a card. It's not the card for me, bro. Okay, I think I like it. So let's see E1000E. Let's see if it's straightforward here as well. So we're going to actually clean up a bunch of fix me's because these all go away now. Um, so null putter, null putter. One fix me goes away. This becomes a try. Click, click. This becomes a try. A click, clickety click. This one also becomes a try. And you become a move. All right. And then we don't need that. If it doesn't initialize, make an error. So that's an E1000E network adapter unable to initialize. Is that what I said in the other one? Unable to initialize adapter. Cool. So let's go and do the same thing in all the other ones. So the NE2000, another classic network card. Um, so error or all right if it's not on the list you can't come in the club okay oh here's a must that's uh ambitious but <laughs> still just as bad because i will also just panic the kernel if if this fails so we will try um adopt Okay, and that's a move. Okay, very, very good. I guess technically we don't need try on that one, but it just feels nicer. Interesting that we don't do initialize here. I guess the constructor does that. Maybe it can't fail initialization. Uh, okay, the RTL8139. Try to initialize. Okay. Again, more of the same kind of stuff. All the network cards kind of follow the same pattern. Um, I think they're all like based on each other. Like whoever was adding a network card device driver would just start with one of the existing ones and then um, you know, change the, the register addresses and stuff like that for the new card. Okay, and that's a move. All right. Probably missing one. Yeah, the 8168. Sure. Okay, these are healthy changes though. Like in general, it's getting some error propagation um, in there and getting rid of some of this crusty, like um, 
oh, well, if things fail, then just panic, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely good to, to have less of that in the kernel. It is some of our old code, or a lot of our old code is very, very happy to just panic if something doesn't go its way. So um, it, it seems very healthy to, to do this kind of stuff. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's the wrong kind of adopt. Some of these are a mouthful, but this is not the, the time and place. Okay, so now we need to go look in networking management. Don't love that name, but we are not here to bike shed about that. Um, okay, so here is null is not a thing, right? Because this now returns error or so I guess result um, so if we don't get an error, or you know what, let's let's type this out in a slightly nicer way here. So um, um, see, failed to initialize network adapter. And then we can name drop the PCE, PCI device identifier. Uh, and then also the error can follow right after. And then this is an enumeration loop. Yeah, so we just let it go. Um, wait, I can't. There's no formatter for these. OK, so how do I? log one of them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess it has an address. Do we have formatters for these for the addresses? Hardware ID for the address. Okay. Okay, um, so let's say something like this, hardware ID, and then the error comes after, yeah. Uh, but if it does succeed, then we will add it to our list of adapters. Release value, cool. Very cool. Okay, so will this boot? It's probably gonna boot, but uh, we'll we'll inject some errors and see what happens. At least it compiles. That's good. Okay. Taking your sweet time. Okay. So we have booted. We have the internet getting sweet pongs. So that's cool. Um, let's. I think that's an E1000, by the way. E1000 network adapter, yes. Found. Okay, so let's see if we can insert like a little error somewhere. Just, um, you know, we just make, a, make something go wrong here. From string literal, haha, -ha. it didn't work. Just imagine getting that error. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a stupid error, but we just need something just to verify that it bubbles out all the way. I'm wondering now, like, is it really true that we're not going to have multiple drivers willing to talk to the same card? But I don't think we would organize our code in that way. Um, 
Okay, so now actually you can see down here that it's red where the network graph normally is. So it didn't succeed in initializing a network card. We didn't panic, but look at what we got here. Fail to initialize network adapter. Um, haha, it didn't work. That's pretty cool. So it tells us um, the address and the hardware ID. So that is pretty cool. I think we can tweak that error printout a little bit because I don't think we need these because the, um, the way that these serialized was already really helpful. But uh, yeah, it looked looked really good. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, look at these. Fail to initialize network adapter. Huh? Very cool. Very, very cool. So here, this tells us what kind of card it is, basically. If you go and look that up, I bet you, if you just Google that, you'll learn that it's an Intel um, network adapter. Intel 82540EM Gigabit Ethernet Controller. Yeah. Subsystems. Okay. Yeah. So, so we know that it's an Intel Gigabit Ethernet Controller. It's cool. Hmm. Okay. I like it. I think how many fix me's did we actually nuke here? So, uh, fix me. I mean, actually, we should grab for removed lines and then grab for fix me. How many is that? Seven. That's really good. Seven for the price of one. Um, so we should be making a little dent here today. Um, so I guess this actually has to go all in one commit because we're changing the API. Uh, but we shouldn't keep that haha it didn't work thing. <laughs> Don't want to leave that in there. But um, generally, I think it was pretty good. Did I update all of them? I think I updated all of them correctly. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Okay, so kernel um, propagate errors during network adapter um, detection initialization. Okay. Um, this patch resolves. Um, bum, bum, bum. What do we say? Um, Um, when scanning for network adapters, um, we give each driver a chance to uh, claim the um, uh, claim the PCI device, and whoever claims it first gets to keep it. Um, before this patch, the um, try the the, um, the driver API returned a lock ref putter adapter adapter type, uh, which made it impossible to propagate errors. Um, that occurred during uh, detection, during um, detection and or initialization. Um, this this patch changes. This patch changes 
um, the API so that errors can bubble all the way out to the uh, PCI enumeration in networking management initialize where we perform all the device network adapter auto detection on boot. Um, yeah. In the future, when we eventually um, start to support hot plugging network adapters in the future, uh, it will be even more important to propagate errors instead of swallowing them. Um, importantly, this patch um, before these this patch, some errors um, were handled by panicking the kernel instead of so handled by panicking the kernel. This is no longer the case. Seven fix me's were killed in the making of this commit. Cool. That is pretty cool. So I think that's basically the change. So um, yeah, let's let's call it a call it a thing. Uh, if you made it here, thank you so much for watching, for hanging out. I hope that you saw something interesting here today. And I am glad that we got a chance to do some error propagation stuff in our kernel. It's not the most glamorous work, but it is really important because we did make some bad, um, we did take some bad shortcuts and make some bad assumptions during the initial kernel bring up where we just assumed that allocation would always succeed and we assumed that um, that panicking is a reasonable response to an unusual error. But uh, obviously that's not really the case. And um, while we learned the we learned that a long ago, a long time ago, we're still <laughs> we're still in the process of writing all the wrongs that we accumulated. So it's good to to take a moment to do some of that. Anyways, this has been another episode of the Fix Me Roulette. So thank you so much for hanging out, and I will see you all next time. Bye.